So, Bethesda woke up one morning and decided Fallout 4 needed another update. Which is great, unless you use mods or enjoy stability. If you want to run Wasteland Genesis or any other modded Fallout 4 setup that uses the next gen version, the latest anniversary edition update has probably turned your hopes and dreams into a vault experiment nobody agreed to. The good news is we can fix it by rolling back to the previous next gen version where everything works as it should. In this video I'll show you exactly how to do that. It's extremely simple, I'll show you every single step and there's very little technical wizardry required. Just follow along, do what I do and you'll be back in the wasteland in no time. First let's make a quick check of which version you're running, just in case you don't need to downgrade. There's two ways to find out which version you currently have. The first and quickest is to simply right click the fallout4.exe, select properties and then go to the details tab. You can see here that I've updated to version 1.11.191 or the anniversary edition. The other way is in game. Load up the game, click settings and it'll show the version number in the bottom right of the menu screen. Now to get the game back to version 1.10.984 or next gen as it's called. All of the text you'll need I'll put in the description so you can easily copy and paste it where you need to. I will also speed up and cut out any boring waiting times. First hit the Win and R key to bring up the Windows Run window. In here copy and paste Steam colon forward slash forward slash open forward slash console. This will open another tab in the Steam overlay called Console. From here you will copy and paste the download depot codes that I will link below. There are nine in total, four for the main game, two for the Automatron DLC, one for the Wasteland Workshop, and two for the Creation Kit. These are all linked below, so don't worry about trying to copy them off the screen. Now copy and paste the first seven depot codes into the console. Make sure to only copy and paste one line at a time and let them fully install. Be patient here and wait until you have the message Depot Download Complete. It is very important you wait until you have this message for each depot. It takes time to download. It took me about 15 minutes altogether. Once these seven are done, then go ahead and do the same for the creation kit. Copy and paste the download depot codes, one line at a time, and wait until you have the message depot download complete. These two are a lot quicker. Now, make a note of where the depot is downloaded to. This should be your normal Steam download folder. Mine is a Steam folder in a folder called Game. Yours may be in Program Files unless you go a unique folder to download to. Then it's Steam, Steam Apps, Content. In here, you'll find a folder called app underscore 377160 which is where you just downloaded the depots to. In here are the depot files that contain the game files you need to roll back your game. I found this next bit a little bit easier having two windows open at the same time next to each other. It's just easier to copy and paste the content over. One window will have the files you just downloaded showing the depots, the other with your Fallout 4 game root folder. This is the folder with the Fallout4.exe in. Then simply open each depot and copy all the contents, overwriting the files when prompted. Do this for each of the seven depots in this folder. Finally, do the same for the creation kit files, which are in app underscore 1946160. Open that and copy the contents of each of the depots into your Fallout 4 game root folder with the Fallout4.exe in. Congratulations, you've just rolled back your Fallout 4 to the next gen version of the game. Easy, huh? To confirm this, right click your Fallout4.exe, select properties, the details tab, like we did earlier, and you'll see it now says version 1.10.984. One final thing to do, which is stop Bethesda from screwing your game up again, let's turn off auto updates of Fallout 4. In your Steam library, find Fallout 4, then hit the small cog on the right. Select Properties, Updates, and then from the top drop down, select Wait until I launch the game. And then on the second drop down, select Never allow background downloads. You'll probably be launching the game from the Fallout 4 script extender, so your game won't update. 
but to make 100% certain, go back to your Steam directory on your computer, then find Steam apps, and in that you'll find a file called app manifest underscore 377160.acf. Right click this, select properties, and then select the read only box, followed by apply and OK. Now your game is safe. You can actually use this method to roll back to any previous version, providing you have the depot codes. A quick Google search should bring up the information you need. If enough people ask, I will include some of the previous versions in this description, but at the time of making this video, I'll only include the next gen depot codes. Now, to test your game, download your favorite mod pack, like Wasteland Genesis, launch from the F4 SC loader, and enjoy this amazing mod pack. If you found this useful, I'd appreciate a like and maybe a subscribe. You never know, I may have more content you like. In the meantime, try Wasteland Genesis if you like having your ass kicked in a glorious and deadly Warlock 4 mod list. You're